Hi everyone, today I want to talk about three advanced questions for the secondary school interview. The first question is, what is the difference between working alone and working in groups? Well, I think that they both have some advantage. Well, working alone, you can reduce the times of arguments because uh, when you are uh, working with others you you may need to discuss with them and because you have different uh, opinions so you will have some uh, arguments and you will try to persuade them and soon soon it will become uh, arguments and and our relationship will be bad and also working alone is is can have and like us to have more time to surf the internet because we will discuss with others so it will take a bit time for us to persuade them that my ideas are best so so it will take a lot of times and we might have no times on uh, surfing the internet well however i think that working in groups have some advantage first they can uh, they can make us to learn how to communicate with them because we need to discuss with them so it can change can change it can change our uh and change our oral uh ability and make us to be more talkative and also it can train it can like us to know how to cooperate with others because you need to uh yeah collaborate with others so that we can have a better job and better project and also uh, working in groups can make us i think our project be better because we have different opinions we can try to make the project to be in different aspects so our project will be better uh, when we are working in groups so therefore i think that working in, in groups is better because you can train our it can train our how to us how to collaborate with others or communicate with others. The second question is, what would you bring if you are only allowed to bring one thing when you're going to Japan? Well, I would bring a mobile phone because uh, your mobile phone has very useful. First, you you don't because I don't know how to say it or or know how to. Uh, know the Japanese, so I w- I need to use mobile phone to have some apps to that can translate the Japanese to Chinese or English, so that I can know it, uh, know it properly. So, uh, if, if using mobile phone is really useful, and also when we have some ma- accidents, we can use the we can use the mobile phone to call the police immediately, so that I can have. A uh, treatment uh, soon. So, if you, we don't have the mobile phone, we need to uh, we need to go to the uh, police station or the hospital uh, when we walk there uh, with injuries. So it's quite hard. And also, uh, have the mobile phone. We don't need to buy and we don't need to bring a wallet because nowadays there's a lot of apps that can. Uh, pay the money that we don't need to bring a wallet that and then those uh, apps are very really prevalent in every countries that every countries near the African countries can use it so I will bring a mobile phone with I am only allowed to bring one thing when I'm going to Japan the first question is what graduation gifts will you give to the teachers to express my gratitude but uh, about these questions, I would uh, probably give uh, my teacher uh, a penguin model because I remember when I was just come to primary school, um, I'm very scared and frightened because I don't know age teachers and students, and I'm a bit shy and timid person, and my my teachers noticed that, and. He gave and she gave me a uh, a model which is a penguin, and it's really cute that I still keep it today. 
So I think that this model um, represents my t-shirts and they are, I, and I always know that uh, my t-shirts are with me because the model is with me. And since it has represents the it's my teacher, so uh, when I was when I was sad and depressed, uh, he will and uh, it likes my teachers and my teachers is uh, encouraging me to become studied hard and become more better. So without the without the model, I I won't be so I won't. I will be still so depressed today. So I will, so I will give a penguin model as same as my teacher gave me to the teacher to express my gratitude. This is all about my presentation. About my presentation. Thank you for listening. Bye.